So we start off in Balmora. We're going to take the Stilt Strider to Saran. So once we're here in Saran, what we're going to do is we're going to head up these stairs here. And we're going to head towards like the southern like exit of the town. So the southern gates of the town right here. And you're just going to walk straight out this way. Um, this is actually very similar to the direction you would go if you were trying to find the Mud Crab Merchant. Which we have done already, yes. Um, and so what we're going to do is we're just going to hug this, uh, this mountainside or this hillside here. We're just going to kind of hug that and follow the trail that doesn't quite exist. But we're just going to follow the trail as best we can. Um, up here there's uh, some sort of cave. There's a little fucking dude there. I forget what they're called. Um, you're going to ignore that guy. You're going to go past that and you're going to keep hugging the left side here. And you're going to go up this way, and there's going to be a fork in the road. And you know what? we'll just kill this rat real quick. At the fork in the road here, we're going to go up this pathway here. And it's going to take us basically on the opposite side. So you realize Saran is on a hill, and this is basically the opposite side of Saran. So here's, here's Saran. That's the hill. We just went south. We went off the south exit, but that... Uh, that hill that kind of borders the eastern side of the town, Umbra is just right over the other side of that. And you'll see what I mean when we head back into town, but this here is Umbra. And if you're familiar with Umbra in Oblivion, Umbra is a female in Oblivion. And as you can hear by his voice, uh, Umbra is a man in a, he's a male character in a, in Morrowind. Uh, they're both orcs, of course. He's wearing full orcish though in this one. He's not wearing full ebony. Uh, so it's a little bit lower quality armor. Um, so you talk to him, and you know he'll say some shit about you know dying like a warrior, and you tell him, "Yep, I'll fight you, buddy." And the other difference that you'll notice probably right away is that the sword, which is also again named after Umbra himself in this game, um, wow, really strong weapon. It's a yeah, number one, it's a really strong weapon, but two, it is a, a it's a it's a two-handed weapon. It's a claymore in this game. It's not a one-handed sword. Um, so we're going to try to heal up the best we can. We might as well just use a bunch of these potions because, well, we're not going to be saving anyway. Doesn't have enough charge. What a drag. And he's got the distance on us, so it's kind of hard to play the distance game when he's got the upper hand here, so to speak. But, you know, we're making pretty short work of him. Um, keeping in mind, uh, we are level 26, we've got a little over 200 health, over 250 fatigue, so we're doing pretty good for ourselves. You're probably not going to be beating him at level 1. Uh, in Oblivion, it's not necessarily the hardest thing in the world to kill Umbra at level 1. I mean, it's possible. I struggle with it still. I'm not that great at it. But, fact of the matter is that it is possible, and, uh, yeah, as you can see, we knocked his ass out pretty clean here. And, um, see, as you can see, there's a full orcish set, it looks like, and there's the Umbra Sword. Uh, again, it's got the Soul Trap on it, just like in Oblivion. Uh, it's worth 110000 so it's definitely one of the most expensive uh, weapons in the game. If I understand correctly, it is weaker than both the Daedric Katana and the Daedric, uh, the Daedric, not Katana, the Daedric Claymore and the Daedric Dai Katana. We'll check that out in a second here, um, but I wanted to show you, you know, just like kind of geographically where it sits. Like we're literally just like you could you could throw a rock from where we just fought like into Saran and hit a guard. So here's Saran down here, of course, um, and we're just gonna go back to Balmora real quick so I can show you because I have my Daedric items there. We're gonna compare the damage of these items real quick. All right, so here we are. We're back at Caius Cassade's house where I keep all my shit. So here we can see we got the Daedric Claymore. Um, so the best we've got on this one is the Chop 1 to 60, and the Dai Katana is matched with another 1 to 60 on the Chop. Um, the Umbra Sword, it's 10 to 50 on the Chop, which the lower range of the damage is better but the upper range is much lower so it's not technically as strong as the daedric katana or daikatana and claymore but it is a very strong weapon and it's powerful for its own reasons it's definitely good for soul trapping and it's 
you know, it's one of the it's one of the rare items in the game. Uh, nice to have, but anyways, that was that was the quick little video I wanted to make. This has been uh, Pluck the Master Gamer though with how to find and kill Umbra in Morrowind, and uh, I will see you guys next time. Peace out.